Sweden finally has a job seeker visa that allows non-EU nationals to move to Sweden in search of jobs. So that is one way you can literally move to Sweden or um, this EU country without a job offer. So Sweden finally announced the big news by allowing non-EU citizens to apply for a job, seek a visa and move to Sweden and look for a job. So in today's video, we are going to look at the eligibility requirements for you to get the Sweden job seeker visa and what are its terms and conditions. So if you are an interested party, then you want to stay at the very end of this video so that you can learn more about how to apply for a Sweden job seeker visa to find a job or start a business in sweden but generally you're gonna need um to have some great education and a few other things so you want to stay to the end of this video so sweden provides candidates a simple pathway to apply for a residence permit if they have completed their studies with at least a master's level degree and want to get a job in sweden or search the opportunities for initiating their own businesses so if you're wondering how long is the Sweden job seeker visa? So the resident permit that you're going to be given consists of three to nine months uh, for those who want to get a job in Sweden or get opportunities for starting their own businesses. And then in terms of whether family members uh, are allowed to move with a job seeker, so the family of the job seeker visa applicant is not allowed to come to Sweden to join them during this period when the applicant is still looking for jobs in Sweden. Anyhow, later on, after the job seeker has found a valid job offer and has converted the resident permit, then the applicants can sponsor their families to come and live with them in Sweden. So in terms of salaries in Sweden, the gross salary range for people working in Sweden is typically uh, from around 25,000 Swedish kron, is it kronor, to 68,000 thereabout kronor, which is the highest average actual maximum salary. Um, so this is a total monthly salary, including bonuses. So you can convert that into USD, depending on when you're watching this video. They've really been changing. So eligibility criteria for a residence permit for those who are seeking a Sweden job seeker visa. So you as the candidate who is applying for a Sweden job seeker visa, you must fulfill the requirements by showing that A, you have the document valid for the entire time period from when you submit your application to the time you stay in Sweden. And then number two, you must have a valid passport for the complete period when you will be in Sweden and the permit will not be provided for more than the passport validity. Number three, you must have completed your education corresponding to an advanced level degree. That's mostly what most people call a master's degree. And then you must intend to search for employment while you will be in Sweden for this period, or you must be seeking opportunities to start a business in Sweden. And then of course, you're gonna need to have enough money to bear all the expenses during the time which you will be applying for a permit. Of course, you must have health insurance valued for care in Sweden. And at the time of submitting your application, you must be residing outside of Sweden. So in terms of your passport requirements, your passport must be valid for the period that you intend to stay in Sweden. And the full passport pages are shown on the copies that you submit with the numbers and characters at the top and bottom of the pages clearly visible. So in terms of study requirements, the candidate is required to have an advanced level degree. And this is the equivalent of either a 60 credit master's degree, a 120 credit master's degree, a professional degree equal to 60 to 330 credits, or a postgraduate PhD level degree. So the candidate will be required to attach a signed letter of consent that provides the Swedish Council for Higher Education, UHR, with permission to contact the universities or the higher education institutions that you studied in to verify your degree. And then of course, when it comes to financial status, you're gonna need your bank statement because you must demonstrate that you can easily fulfill the financial needs and that you have enough assets of money equivalent to at least 
13,000 Swedish krona for each month for which you are applying for a residence permit and also you have money to facilitate your travel to Sweden and back home if you don't have get, get a job eventually and then in terms of health insurance uh, you must have valid health insurance that is workable for you in Sweden and this insurance covers the whole time for which you are applying for a residence permit the insurance manages expenses of all medical care such as hospitalization dental care and repatriation for medical kinds just in case you need them the candidate will also attach the terms and conditions of the insurance when they are submitting their application so what will be required when you are using the sweden job seeker visa e-service so the following documents must be submitted to the e-services for the visa application so uh, digital copies of your examination certificate um, pages in your passport that demonstrate personal information signatures photos validity time country issuing entry stamps and if you are permitted to reside in countries other than in your country of origin then of course you're going to need your official academic record such as um, courses of your studies your transcripts and all that you're going to need documents related to your bank statement demonstrating that you have enough money to bear all the expenses during the time which you are applying for a permit if permission from a central bank or the equivalent is needed to tell out the the amount from your country then you must provide such a document of course your health insurance and it must be valid for care in sweden including repatriation and then a said letter of consent that provides the swedish council of high education with permission to contact your higher education institutions to verify your degree certificate and then if your documents are not in english then you're gonna need translation of them in a language that is uh, if, if they are in a language that is um not english or sweden then you're gonna have to have those officially translated and then um once you have all these documents and they are in order then you need to submit them to the e-service and then once that is done the embassy is gonna <sighs> you will submit your application at the swedish embassy or consulate general in your home country or country of residence and then of course you're gonna need to pay the fee for submitting your application regarding the situation and then uh, the embassy will of course tell you what their decision has been so if you meet all the requirements for the sweden job seeker visa then the swedish migration agency are the ones who will make a final decision on your file and they will provide you with a permit of between three to nine months depending on how they assess your situation and they will also check your passport if you are participating for the first time for the swedish job seeker visa and you are outside of sweden or one of the migration agency service centers if you are in sweden so once you get your permit for anywhere between three to nine months and sweden welcomes you into its territory then they will provide you with a permit for more than three months they will give you a permit card as proof that you're allowed to be in sweden and provide biometrics with your photo along with other required data so in case you require an entry visa to sweden then you will go to the swedish embassy as i've already talked about that or the consulate general in your country take a photo in biometrics and um if they approve you then they are gonna give you the job seeker visa that you need so that's basically how it works those are the requirements i will leave a link in the description box at the bottom of this video you can go and check it out and see if you qualify and then you can submit for your sweden job seeker visa thank you guys for staying to the end i hope this was helpful i will see you in the next one bye